My girl Sarayana found out that I was messing around with one of her hermanas. Second time I've been caught in two years. A record, even for me. Oh, Sarayan went absolutely nuts, uh, attacked me in the e-bus, the boys laughing and running, and me pretending like, like, like I hadn't done anything. And then suddenly, I was in the dorm room a lot, taking a stab at a story or two, watching movies with Oscar. <laughs> Out of nowhere, and not in the least influenced by my own shitty state, of course not, I decide that I'm gonna fix Oscar's life. <laughs> One night, while he's moaning on about his sorry existence, I say, yo, do you, do you really wanna change it? Of course I do, but nothing I've tried has been ameliorative. <laughs> uh, I'll change your life. Really? Yes, really. You have to listen to me, though. I, I, I swear an oath of obedience, my lord. When do we start? The next morning at 6 a.m., I kick Oscar's bed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Huh, what? What is it? Oh, nothing much. Just the first day of your life. Man, I really must have been in a dangle over Sarayan, which is why I threw myself something serious into Project Oscar. I have fat boy like Master Killer and Shadow and Temple. Oh, I'm on his ass 24 seven. Get him to start watching his diet and to stop talking crazy negative. He's all like, Ugh. I'm ill-fated. Uh, I'm going to perish a virgin. <laughs> uh, I'm lacking in pulchritude. Hey, 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 hey. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts, motherfucker. I even bring him out with me and the boys. And Melvin says, Dime, he was next. We gonna start inviting out the homeless thumb being? But my biggest coup of all, I get dude to fucking run. Goes to show you, all really did look up to me. <laughs>